Today, let's show you the correct installation method of the Zero Air actuators. Firstly, this is about the installation of the e rabbi type actuator. Step 1, put the actuator on the load base. Step 2, put all M3 screws into the screw hole. Step 3, set the torque value of torque screwdriver to 1.9 newton meter and use it to pre-tighten the screws, then tighten the screws diagonally until a click sound less out from the torque screwdriver. Now, all screws have been tightened diagonally. Step 4, install the load connection flange. The connection flange must be assembled to the circular spline of the harmonic gear. The screws in the output shaft can't be removed. Step 5, put all M3 screws in. Step 6, set the torque value of torque screwdriver to 1.9 Nm and use it to pre-tighten the screws. Then tighten the screws diagonally until a click sound less out from the torque screwdriver. Now, all screws have been tightened diagonally. The length of M3 screws should be chosen depending on customer's connection flange. Step 7, install the load bar. So far, the correct installation of our E-Rabbi type actuator has been finished. Secondly, this is about the installation of the e rab T type actuator. Step 1, place the e rab T actuator vertically on the mounting base. Step 2, align the set screw holes and use three hexagon socket countersunk type screws to preliminarily position the actuator. The screw tightening process has been accelerated in the video. Step 3, put all M3 screws in and tighten them. The screw tightening process has been accelerated in the video. The screws in the output shaft can't be removed. Step 4, install the load flange of the e rab T type actuator. Step 5, tighten screws from the side of the e rab T type actuator. The screw tightening process has been accelerated in the video. Step 6, install the load bar. So far, the correct installation of the e rab T type actuator has been finished. Finally, it's the connection of two e rab T type actuators. Step 1, thread one end of the power cable and communication cable through the second actuator after installing the first actuator. Step 2, thread another end of the power cable and communication cable through the hollow hole of the first actuator. Step 3, connect the power cable and communication cable of the second actuator with the power port and communication port of the second actuator respectively. Step 4, use cable ties to fix the lines. Step 5, cut off the excessive cable ties to keep the lines tidy. Step 6, install the back cover of the second actuator and tighten the screws diagonally. Step 7, connect the second actuator vertically with the first actuator. The connection is realized by the screw holes on the side of the output shaft. Step 8, install the set screw to position the actuator. Step 9, put all M3 screws in and tighten them. The screws in the output shaft can't be removed. Step 10, connect the power cable and communication cable of the first actuator with the power port and communication port of the first actuator respectively. Step 11, use cable ties to fix the lines. Step 12, cut off the excessive cable ties. Step 13, install the back cover and tighten the screws diagonally. So far, the connection of the two e type actuators has been finished.